Now, let's begin. The Kuntu is based on Rabbeinu Shabbat I hope now the words based on Rabbeinu Shabbat resonate. You see exactly their origin, their source. It's always Geshmak, and you learn something to know the mucker, to learn the mucker inside, to see, then you have a much broader and comprehensive picture. It's always a suggestion to everybody whenever you learn anything, whatever you learn. You learn Gemara, a Pasuk is quoted, you look up the Pasuk, you learn Rashi, you learn the Mitzudas David, you learn Mitzudas Sin, you learn the Radak, you learn other Mepharshim. It gives you a break, it gives you an appreciation of any concept, any union. That's why the Rebbe wanted always Mara Mekhaimus on every Sikh. Let's look inside Sif Aleph. Now, you're going to have now throughout the Sikha dozens and dozens and dozens of quotes. But you already know all these quotes. So you think I was just learning something else. As a result of learning this, we'll avoid explaining all these quotes because it's going to be quoted again and again and again throughout, the whole, throughout much of the Sikh. Aleph. Allah Posik on the Posik. On this Pasuk in Yecheskel, what is the Pasuk telling us? In the place of Golos and at the time of Golos, there is still a miniature base on Mikdash, which is a mirror. A reflection, a continuum of the big, the great Beis Hamidrash in Yerushalayim. That's a quote from the Metsudas David on the Pasuk. You see, Ara two, Tan Yin Sheni LeBeis Mikdasha. You should already know where that is. Ara three, Targum Yoynison O Pirush Rashi Al Pasuk. So he brings both from the Metsudas and the Targum and Rashi, who explain that this is not just some cute substitute. It's actually a continuum. It's it's a shani, it's a mirror, it's a continuum in microcosm of the Beis HaMikdash. Of course, it doesn't have the same halachas. Nobody's being makrif karbonis over there. But there's the Kedush over there that reflects somewhat the Beis HaMikdash. Isa B'Gemara, and this the Gemara says in Megillah Chavtas, Amar Rabbi Yitzchak, Eilu Batek Nesi, Yisru Batek Medrasa Shebebavam. But Rabbi Lazar Amar Zabes Rabbeinu Shebebavam. This is the house of Rav, Rabbeinu, as he says in the other five from Rashi, Rav, in Bav. Yesh loimar, says the Rebbe, you could say, When you learn it literally, it looks like they're arguing. Rebbe Yitzchak says, what's Mikdash Ma'at? Any shul in Bavel is a Mikdash Ma'at. Rebbe Lezer says, no, 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 don't push it. There's one shul. Based on Benu Shiva Bavel is the only Mikdash Ma'at. That's how you would learn, but Pashtus, you may learn that way. Says, Yesh loimar, that's not Pshan in the Gemara. They're not arguing. It's that Rebelezer felt that no shul is a mikdashmat. Also, Rebelezer embraces completely the idea that the Targum Yoinasin already teaches us that every shul and every base medrash and bavel is a miniature base hamikdash. It's a place where Hashem is present and manifested. You could connect to Him, you can experience a relationship with Hashem. It's a place of kedusha. And Rabbi Yitzchak, the first mandama, would also agree that there's something special about Beis Rabbeinu in terms of Mikdash Mat. What's the Yisoy to say this? So he explains. What is Beis Rabbeinu? Hatoya Rabbeinu. The expression Rabbeinu, our Rebbe, our teacher, is for Rav. Why was Rav called Rav? Because he was our Rebbe. He was the Rav. He, he taught at Geler and Yidin. That's the, only, that's the only justification for the title. No other, ju- no other justification. What's the base Rabbeinu? That's the place where Rabbeinu functions, where Rabbeinu does what the Rebbe does, the place where he teaches, the place where he inspires, the place where he gives title. Who base Madrash? Automatically, it's a base Madrash. That's a base Madrash. In this very sugya, Abai explains that he davens where he learns, he learns where he davens because of the power of a base medrash, the power of a base knesses. So if it's a base rabbeinu, a place of Torah, it's a place of tefillah. 
So when the Yitzchak said, based knep, but they can see the bottom of the drush of based on the bottom of the bottom of the chaycha, based on the and the base medrush. Or mildly, you say the base of Knesset, based on the medrush, based on the bottom of 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 the but in this issue itself, a place of davening and learning, there's a special quality in the base medrash of Rav, Kidrosh's Chaza, like the Gemara says in Baruch's Dav Ches, Mai Dixiv. Mai Dixiv, the Pasik says, Pasik in Tehillim, Oyev Hashem Sharei Tzioin Mikoil Mishkenes Yaakov. I was just remembering the niggin. Hashem loves the gates of Tzion more than all Mishkin Yaakov. What does this mean? He loves the gates of Yerushalayim more than all the dwelling places of Yaakov? Really? The, the, the gates of Tzion are more beloved? What's Pshat? So Chazal Taich, Oyev Hashem, Sha'orim HaMetsuyonim Bahaloche, Yoisim Ibotek Nesiyus Ibotek Medrashos. Hashem loves the Sha'arim. The Sha'arim are always called in Chazal already, Tarisha Bixav, Lisra Beis Dincha, the place of Bezdin. They used to put Bezdin at Shoftim, Veshoitim, Titin Lecha, Bechol Sha'arecha. So Sha'arei Tzion is the Sha'arim Hamitsuyonim that were designated for Halacha, for Bezdin. More even than shuls where they daven and where they learn some things. Why? Because from the day of the Churban Beis HaMikdash, what does Hashem have in His world? Where is the Shekhinah most present in the four Amas of Halacha? In the four Amas we're learning is applied. Where learning is brought to Halacha. Explains the Maharsha on the Gemara. This is a quote from the Maharsha. The Marsha says in the time of the Beis Hamikdash, right near the Beis Hamikdash, on the Harabayas, there was the famous Lishka Sagazas. Lishka Sagazas was a chamber where the Sanhedrin met, the Jewish Supreme Court, the main legislative and spiritual leadership of the Jewish people, the 71 members of the Sanhedrin were in the Lishka Sagazas, and from there came out Torah and Hira and Halacha to the Jewish world. There the Shekhinah was. So the Gemara says, Meyoyim Shechar of Beis Hamikdash, where you have those Dalat Amas Shel Halacha, where Torah goes out to the Jewish world, that becomes Sha'ari Mitzion and Bahalacha, which is even greater than a regular shul and a regular base medrash where they're learning Torah, whatever they're learning, Torah, Nevi'im, Ksuvim, Pilpul, Nister, Nigla, the place from where Halacha comes out, which is base Rabbeinu. This is the concept of the base Rabbeinu. So, in other words, Vekiv, Mitzad, Eli, Amiyuchu, the base Aknezus, U base Amadash, the base Rabbeinu, the guy with Sharbat, the Knesset, the Bottom Midrash, the Shabbat Bavel, Harayu Mikdash Ma'at Ha'ikri, Shanois Nakadash Baruch, the Yisrael, the Managalus, the Murus Amikdash, the Bishop Yerushalayim. I say the two are not arguing. The Maila base Rabbeinu is also a base Aknezus and base Amadash. That's why it's a Mikdash Ma'at. So what's the argument? It's not an argument, it's two perspectives. Rabbi Yitzchak is telling us every shul and every base medrash is ashtikl base hamikdash. Every shul and every base medrash since the churban becomes a place where kivayachal, you can touch the divine. And Rabbi Laza is moisif of art. In mikdash ma'at itself, there's a unique mikdash ma'at, the base Rabbeinu Shem which is also a base knesset, as a base medrash. But it's accentuated. The Torahs have, is, 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 the Torah is more charged. The Tefillah is more charged. Why? Because it's Sha'ari Mitsuyanim Bahalacha. It's the Dalad Amas Shal Halacha. From where Torah is taught, from where Halacha is taught, which is why you daven in that place. As he says, Yoitzis, Mokim Kavosha Mena Yoitzis Aral Anshay Yair. That's why, as the Gemara says in Brachis, he brings in 11. Abaya said, I'll only daven where we learn because I want to daven in the Dalit Amashal Allah where Akadish Baruch is by Lamai. That's a unique place of Mikdashmat. Mikdashmat Ha'ikri that Hashem gives the Jews in Golos. 
as a substitute in replacement till the Geula comes when they don't have the physical base Hamikdash in Yerushalayim. 